A chicken tractor is a mobile cage that we can move periodically. What's nice about these things is in this area we've been losing a lot of animals to coyotes, skunks, raccoons, and we've made a cage that they cannot break into. Of course the floor inside uh, is made out of wire so they can't come in from the from the underneath. The outside wire is made from 14 gauge so it's a tougher wire than normally what you have. What's nice about these chicken cages is that you can move them periodically so that the manure does not build up underneath. If you can continue to move your cage out of your manure pits, well of course they dry, much like what we have over here in this area. The manure dries up, it's used as fertilizer, as we move the pens down, then we let the chickens out and the chickens will come in and scratch and find nutrients in the piles that they have just left. But they'll scratch it in there and we actually can fertilize our grass areas by moving this cage down and eliminating the problems with odors and health problems and we have a sanitation program that's good We've got for the chicken. this cage over here. We've got an axle on both sides of the chicken tractor. This axle is made out of steel with threads on the end of it. We have tires on here and if we wanted to move this we could actually pull it. If we couldn't pull it by hand because the chickens are inside there and there's extra weight then we could pull it with a small tractor or a lawnmower or even our pickup trucks. But you just hook on to it and you'll move it down or move it that way wherever you're going with your program and with your with your plan. But it's a mobile chicken. We normally move this thing about once a week. Of course we have wire in the inside which means they cannot go directly onto the ground. So oftentimes we'll open up the door so that they can get out. Or we'll put a mobile fence that's electric around them. And as you can see here we have a corral that we've made around this pen so that they can get out and actually go through and harvest the insects, the seeds, the waste material that we may throw out there and they get their exercise. They're a happy chicken. I also let them out here on, on, on the outside also. So we'll leave that door open for right now. These are the doors that we have to let the chickens out. Let these things down, the chickens come out, they can roam, they can eat the insects, they can scratch for the seeds, they can go back to their own manure piles and dig through there. And at night time, all we have to do lift it up, lock them in, and they're secure. In this area we have a lot of coyotes, raccoons, and skunks. And a lot of our neighbors have lost their chickens to these varmints mainly because they had no type of security. With these types of pens right here, as you can see, we have a solid wall. It continues on the other side. This is for environmental factors. So when there's wind, when there's rain, when there's snow, they're protected in this area over here. Of course, chickens have feathers, they group together, they produce their own heat, but they also need to have some type of ventilation. This is why we've left all of this area open so that they can have that ventilation in there. When it gets below 15 degrees Fahrenheit, then we need to add some type of heat in there. And how we add heat in here is by putting a light bulb in there. Bob, about a 100 watt, 150 watt, even a 200 watt bulb, depending on how cold it is. But the chickens will maintain themselves with that little heat. This is our solid wall, which protects the animals from the environment. Here's our nesting boxes. We also have a series of roost on this side and that side for the chickens to sit on. They like to roost, when, especially when they get older. About the six week mark they start to learn how to roost. Before that time they don't roost. And from that time forward you'll find all your chickens on roost over here. 
So we have a series going up so that they can get into the laying boxes and lay their eggs. Of course we gather these eggs from the outside. You can see the floor and you can see the wire on the floor. That wire is on the floor to protect these chickens at night from varmints that can crawl underneath these cages and grab your chickens. By putting the wire right there we have eliminated those varmints from getting our chickens. Of course we have a waterer. This is an automatic waterer that we haven't quite set up yet but it is in place. And we have a feeder right here. And we'll fill those periodically. The water will come in automatically once the system is all together. And they'll get their feed and they'll get their water in the inside. I put this platform in front over here so as we come in and we're checking the chickens and we're checking the pens and we're cleaning these pens that we have a place that we can stand and that's very important so that we are not standing on the wire we are standing on the wood and that adds to security. Up here on top you can see we have a board that comes across to support this board. This is where we hang our feeders and our waters from. But it also holds our roof in place. So in the winter time if we get a snow 8, 10, 12 inches, we feel secure that our boards and how we have this roof set up uh, will hold. One of the features on this thing is when we want to gather the eggs from the outside we can gather the eggs when they start to produce the eggs. Now we have five nests here. On the other side of the pen we also have five more which makes ten nests. We like to have about one nest for every four to five birds.